Welcome to my channel you beautiful people please don't forget to subscribe and remember to hit that notification button so you never miss a video so here is another fun session with my lovely client Shanna so wait for the end people you'll be amazed with her progression um, so we're just having a little fun circuit here this was pre lockdown so we started with some um, star jumps and we're doing about 10 to 20 reps per movement or about 30 seconds per movement okay so we're moving on now here to some um overhead or upward punches so you're just punching upwards make sure you rotate slightly on one leg as you go across the body so as you can see that's what she's doing keeping the core nice and engaged, keeping the chest nice and high and just punching upwards. Also making sure you keep yourself nice and centered, obviously. Okay, so this is a little fun one to do. You really feel it through your arms, through your shoulders as well. And if you're holding a good posture, then you're also gonna feel it through your core or through your abs. Okay, so we're going to move on here. It's a good way to, um, if you're just trying to go for high reps and want to use a lightweight, and maybe you don't have the bar, barbell, um, uh, barbell with the, the uh, bigger rings. So you can see this one is a solid barbell. So it means um, I've just had to elevate it slightly so it's not too low. So, um, so it's nice to use some Reebok steps to do that. So yeah, so now we're just gonna, we're just doing some sumo um, deadlifts here. She's got her feet nice and wide, toes pointing out into the sides, about 30 to 45 degree angle. And then she's just sitting back into her heels and then coming up to the top. Make sure you keep your core nice and engaged as you go to sit down and then nice and high at the top, kind of working through your legs as you come up. So this is a fun one as well to do. As you know, deadlifts are a big um, compound movement. So good movement to add into your workouts. Okay, so she's just gonna do some dips here, just working through the arms, obviously. Um, always make sure when you're doing dips, just keep your body nice and close into the bench. Making sure as you come up, it's all coming through your arms and not through your hips. Yeah, I tend to see people sometimes start to use their hips. So Shanna here slightly used their hips on one or two reps, but I try constantly with my clients to correct them, obviously, and say um, for them to keep correct form. So we've moved on here now. Um, we using the BOSU and we're doing about three different movements on here, uh, three to four different movements on here. Um, we start in with the bridge. Yeah. So you just want to make sure that your upper body or your upper back, sorry, is resting on the BOSU. And then from there, you're going to engage your core and then thrust your hips upwards. Yeah. So you want to make sure that your weight is also coming through or you're pushing through your heels as you do this movement, yeah? Keep your core engaged, people. Just work through your hips. So she's got her heels as well, nice and close into her glutes. Okay, so now we're going to the second one here and we're just doing um, a chest press, yeah? So we're just using light weights, nothing too heavy, this one. We're just trying to go for high reps. I think she just come back from um, a week or so where she'd not been feeling too well. So just trying to have a nice, fun little session here. Nothing too intense. Okay, so just doing a chest press here, making sure you're pressing over your mid chest when you're working through your chest. Okay, so here she's just gonna do some tricep press, 
So here, she's gonna, you're going to feel this one through your triceps as you bring the weight up. Working through your triceps. So working slightly through your chest, but mainly focusing on the triceps here. Okay, so this is the last move on the BOSU. And then we're going to move on. So like I said, we're not using heavy weights, just using some light weights in this workout. Okay, so moving on now to um, a plank. And as you can see, Shanna has progressed to having um, a weight put on a, uh, on a back as she does the plank. So this is quite intense, but just make sure Keep your core nice and engaged, so belly button tapped into your spine, making sure you have your arms directly or your elbows directly under your shoulders. Keep that neutral spine and just hold it. So this is a good way to progress your plank. Okay, people, so this is our session for today. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you never miss a video. So these are um, Shanna's before and after photos. As you can see, absolutely amazing progression from where we started. So she's lost quite a lot of weight.